when do you think it will be socially acceptable to wear these as a fashion statement around? I'm very curious. I mean, it's not practical at all because I can't see you, but I think I look cool. I think I look futuristic and hip. This is definitely like, here, take my photo right now for like a weird Instagram post. Nailed it, send it to me. Give me those raws. What's going on everybody? Here, I'm gonna take these off. In the last video that you guys saw on this channel, we started exploring time lapses, but to make those time lapses look really great, we added something called motion blur, and that's the secret sauce that makes amazing time lapses. And we learned a lot by doing that video, so I wanted to share all that information with, imagine I said somebody else, it's just like David. This is David. No, it's with you guys. I want you guys to learn how we did it. In this week's video, we're talking everything motion blur. Consider this your masterclass for motion blur for time lapses. Now, what we're gonna be doing specifically is exploring how to do it with the DSLR, both for free and using a paid app and on your phone. So buckle up, grab a raspberry kombucha or a half drinking latte. I really hope you have better beverage options than that. And let's start to learn. All right, so before we talk about motion blur, I'm gonna assume that most of you know how to do a time lapse, but if you don't, here's a quick refresher. There's a couple different ways that you can capture a time lapse. If you're using a smartphone, most likely your camera app has a built-in time lapse feature. If not, there's a bunch of apps out there, which we'll talk about a little bit later. The way that I do it is using a mirrorless camera or a DSLR. Now, specifically, I use the Sony cameras, which have an interval timer built into it, which essentially means that I can take a photo based on any interval that I want. Every one second, every four seconds, every five seconds. The choices are unlimited to a degree. Also, most mirrorless cameras and DSLRs have a built-in time-lapse mode. So what you can do in this case on Sony cameras, it's called slow and quick mode. That's what S and Q stands for on that little dial. Essentially, what you can do is set the intervals there and it will create a video clip based on the duration of your time-lapse. If you guys want a more like in-depth tutorial on time-lapses, we can definitely do one, but you have to let me know. Is there demand for what? You don't have to say it in that voice while you comment, you can say it in your own voice, but I would like to know. All right, so here's how you get motion blur for free in Premiere Pro. Now this will work both for an image sequence and a video clip time lapse. If you guys don't know what an image sequence is, you can click up here and watch my hyperlapse tutorial that will teach you everything about creating image sequences for time lapse. But let's get back to this motion blur. So let's open up Premiere Pro and let's right click on that file. Now click speed and duration. Also the hotkey for this is Command R or Control R depending if you're on Windows or Mac. Now go to the time interpolation drop down menu. What we're gonna wanna do here is choose frame blending. Now here's a shot without frame blending. And now here's our final shot with frame blending. All right, so I would say this motion blur looks pretty decent. It gets the job done, but I've always wanted things to look a little bit better and there's another way to do it. All right, so let's explore the pro way to get motion blur in your time lapses. Now we're gonna be using an app called Real Smart Motion Blur or RSMB. Now I first discovered this app when a friend of mine, Mike Visuals, posted something on Instagram showing this app being used in Premiere Pro and I DM'd him, I was like, what is this app? How do you get the secret sauce? And he's like, you, you just download it. So. This is the secret sauce for your time lapses. Now I wanna show you a comparison between real smart motion blur and just the frame blending which we had in the previous clip. Here's the frame blending. Now here is the real smart motion blur. If you compare the two, the second one looks more blendy. Well, you're gonna to have to pay $109 for this app. You have to make the call if it's worth $109 to you, but as someone who runs a business and takes time lapses seriously like myself, I can justify the cost. So yes, it's a pretty penny, but you get blendier motion blur. Okay, so Real Smart Motion Blur is compatible with most editing softwares and there is a free trial, but I'm also just gonna put an asterisk here. I, companies, when you give a free trial, don't put the big old watermark on it. Why? Give me like three days to use it pro. Don't put a giant red X in there. Anyways, I digress, back to it. So this plugin is very, very easy to use. Let me show you how to do it. Now, once you've activated the app or purchased the app, you'll just drag and drop the RSMB effect onto your clip and voila. You can go in and control the blur amount and the motion sensitivity. Again, here is a clip with just normal frame blending and here is a clip with the RSMB effect on top of it. I hate that it's $109, 
but it looks pretty sweet. All right, so let's jump into smartphones. Now, if you wanna get similar results to what we got with RSMB and the DSLR, you can download the Moment app. Now the Moment app is something I've been using a lot recently for time lapses. Usually when we're traveling, I like to set up a second camera for time lapses so I can go and like gallivant with the vlog camera and go, oh la 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 la, I'm making a vlog camera, ha ha ha. And then the time lapse is doing its thing and getting me B-roll. So that's a great way to just use your smartphone as a supplementary piece while you're shooting your videos. Plus the quality out of smartphones these days in 2020 is pretty dang amazing. So this is a great alternative rather than using a DSLR just for time lapses. Again, there's a quality difference, but this is still pretty amazing. So let's open up the Moment app to get the best looking blur. What the frick, I turn on the light. Okay, a quick little warning, the app costs $6. That's like a bougie latte. So now that you have the Moment Pro camera app, the one thing that's nice about this is that not only can you do video and photo in it and all the additional time-lapse stuff that we want, it's literally a manual camera app so you can take dope photos with it. Lots of features for $6, one feature for $109, just saying. So here is how you do it. By default, it should open to the regular camera settings. Tap the small camera icon in the bottom right corner and all the way to the left is time-lapse mode. Now in time-lapse mode, you have easy to use interval and frame count controls, duration calculator so you know how long the shot will take after setting the interval and frame count. Moment, thank you for putting that in. This little guy right here allows you the ability to select the blur duration. This is essentially like a, the shutter speed. And you can also export each frame individually for editing on your desktop. It's like, it's a DSLR, but in, in this. You also have the ability to control your white balance and aperture and all the other things like a manual camera, but in your phone. But I think the most important thing is that you can actually add in the motion blur within the app you don't have to do it later. If you're into like having the higher quality video and mirrorless setup, that's how you do it there. But if you wanna do it on your phone for six bucks, great alternative. Those are the different ways that you guys can get motion blur within your video. So that is for free, the uh, more accessible version by doing it on your phone and the, the bougie pro way of doing it for $109. Links are all below if you guys wanna check out the different apps and different links to things like that. And on that note, we are done with the motion blur. If you guys like this video, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And we will catch you in the next one. I wonder if this will scare my cat. Can someone bring the cat? Does she like it? Does she, where is she? Does she like it? Oh, there she is. Hi, Luna. Wait, where is she? Hi, hi, Luna. Oh. Hi, Luna. Is she not phased by it? Are you there or is the cat I'm floating? I'm by it. <laughs> Bye, everybody.